my reception, I'm going to read you a story called The Selfish Crocodile. Deep in the forest in the river lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bathe in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day he shouted to the creatures of the forest, Stay away from my river! It's my river! If you come near my river, I will eat you. So there were no fish, no tadpoles, no frogs, no crabs and no crayfish in the river. They were all afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river as well. Whenever they were thirsty, they went for miles to drink in the other rivers and streams. Every day the crocodile lay on his great big back in the sun, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. But early one morning, the forest was awakened by a loud groaning sound. Something was in terrible pain. The creatures thought it was an animal that had been caught by the crocodile. But as the sun came up brightly, they saw it was the crocodile who was in pain. He was lying on his back, holding his jaw and crying real tears. The creatures drew closer, but not too close. Some of them began to feel sorry for the crocodile. What's the matter with him, said a deer. I don't know, said a squirrel. Maybe he's going to die, said a bird. If that happens, it will soon be safe to go in the river, said a pig. The animals thought about this. They hung from the branches, they hung from the vines, and they buzzed in the air. And they all shook their heads as they watched the big crocodile in pain. But nobody tried to help him. I wonder why they didn't help him. Maybe it's because he wasn't helping them before. Suddenly a little mouse appeared sniffing the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail, then onto his tummy, and all of the creatures stared. Look at that mouse, said a monkey. He's either very brave or very mad. He's going to be eaten for sure, said the iguana. The mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and into his mouth. There was a hush in the forest. The mouse got hold of something and he pulled and pulled. Then he put it on his shoulder and he walked out of the crocodile's mouth. There was a loud cheer from the astonished creatures. The crocodile sat up again and said, I don't feel any pain anymore, it's all gone. Then he saw the mouse walking down his tummy, carrying an enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. Your bad tooth was given you toothache, said the mouse, turning around to face the now smiling crocodile. Do you want it back? Oh no, 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 get rid of it. And when you've done that, I've got a present for you. The mouse went and buried the bad tooth under a tree and when he returned, the crocodile gave him a nice juicy nut. As the crocodile watched the mouse eating the nut, he said to him, You were very clever getting rid of my toothache and very kind too. I'm very grateful, but what shall I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, I'll help you take care of your teeth, said the mouse. And soon the crocodile and the mouse were the best of friends. And one day the crocodile sent all the animals an invitation. Please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to us all, he said. The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river any more. And although the crocodile was sometimes a bit snappy, they all grew to love him. And soon the river was full of fish and tadpoles and crayfish. And that's the end. I liked that story, did you? Tell an adult what your favourite part was and I'll be back to read one soon. Bye!